In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 31 through to 35. And the Lord said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation? And what are they like? They are like children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another, saying, We have played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We mourned to you, and you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine. And you say, He has a demon. The Son of Man has come eating and drinking. And you say, Look, a glutton, a wine bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is justified by all her children. This scripture reading today from St. Luke about Jesus talking to the people. And he said, To what then shall I liken the men of this generation? And what are they like? He's talking about the way they think. And he gave an example of children sitting in the marketplace and calling to one another and saying, We played the flute, and you did not dance. We mourned, and you did not weep. John the Baptist, he came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and you say, he has a demon. But the Son of Man has come eating and drinking, and you say, look, a glutton, a wine-bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. We're looking at two different types of people. One who is strict, in his ways, John the Baptist. But Jesus was not like that. He did not worry about these other traditions that John the Baptist was partaking in. John the Baptist was repenting for sins. But the people said, that he had a demon in him. Because of this. And then on the other hand, the Son of Man, he came eating and drinking. And their response was, look, a glutton, a wine bibber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. As far as these people were concerned, these are two opposites. The Pharisees and the scribes led a very strict life according to the law. But Jesus did not. Jesus did not do this. And of course, they accused him of many things. But the bottom line is that last, very last verse. It's only a short one. But wisdom is justified by all her children. But wisdom is justified by all her children. The children of the Pharisees and scribes and those who followed the strict law of the rule, law. But not everybody accepted that. The children of these people started to follow Jesus under the new law. The commandment that was given by Jesus to love one another 
as I have loved you. These are the justified ones. The wisdom of children. In not following the strict rule of law, but following Jesus and the Lord that he had for us to love. To love our fellow man as Jesus loves us. Jesus is not a God of condemnation. As the Pharisees and scribes put it. Who go around condemning people because they broke the law, or so they thought. No, Jesus was not like that. He would eat and drink with people. Friends of tax collectors and sinners. And then the Pharisees would say, Look, he is a glutton and a wine bibber. People soon worked it out, soon woke up to themselves, and the wisdom is justified by all her children in following Jesus, the new path, the new way. Pray to the Holy Spirit that you will see the difference that you will see the love that Jesus had for us in following him. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except by him, except by following Jesus and his teaching. Glory to God. For all things, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.